Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Pure Biology and today I come with another video that is the uh, jack stack pathway okay and uh, obviously I explained about the tyrosine kinase asso associated receptor in my previous video so you just check out that one okay and I uh, say you uh, thank you to all of you uh, who have already subscribed my channel and obviously i request to the newcomers who are very new in my channel please you share and subscribe the uh, this channel for the growth of this okay and uh, if you uh, give your support to my channel obviously i will give you my best okay so let's continue this is the jack stack pathway so here this is the very rough structure of jack stack pathway and here I will try to explain about this pathway. So here the jack kinase, okay, and this jack and stat, what are these? I already explained in this video, okay, in the previous video. So you must check that one without uh, seeing that or without learning about uh, that uh, topic, you cannot understand about this one, okay. So jackstack pathway is what here the jack kinases take their name from the features or the characteristics that present in two kinases domain in each molecule. Okay, sorry. So uh, two kinases domains are there. So depending on the two kinases domain, the sub characteristics of jack kinases are seen. So here are the few examples of the jack kinases that jack1, jack2 and jack3 and obviously tyk2 and each associated with a specific set of cytokine receptors that means each jack that has a specific cytokine receptors each jack and the jack kinases these are tyrosine kinases and whose major substrates are transcription factors called the stats. That means uh, <clears throat> its activity or its uh, controlling substance is the stats. Okay, this is one kind of protein, and this this protein is controlled by this jack kinases. Okay, so here uh, the several types of stats. That means here several types of jack kinases there. Likewise, several kinases of stats also there, and there are uh, the each stat that is phosphorylated by a particular set of jack kinases that means each stat is controlled by a particular set of jack kinases not all the jack kinases that control all the stats okay so that means each stat is uh, or individual stat is controlled by the individual jacks okay so all Stat proteins that contain N terminal SH2 domain and that binds to phosphotyrosine in the receptor's cytosolic domain, a central DNA binding domain, and a central C sorry C terminal domain with a critical tyrosine residue. So what is saying that that stat proteins these have generally in terminal SH2 domain. Just clearly remind that they have in terminal SH2 domain. And this in terminal SH2 domain may bind with this phosphotyrosine in the reception. One second. So uh, what is saying that? All the stat they have N terminal SH2 domain and this domain generally binds to phosphotyrosine. Where this phosphotyrosine remain? This remain in the receptor's cytosolic domain, a central DNA binding domain, and a C terminal domain. That means SH2 domain generally binds with the phosphotyrosine uh, but this phosphotyrosine this present in the receptors of cytosolic domain or the central DNA binding domain or a C terminal domain okay and that means this SH2 domain they can bind with this domain 
one is dna binding domain another is the cytosolic domain and c terminal domain clear and where the phosphotyrosine must be remained okay so here the bond is uh, not uh, bond this is the critical tyrosine residue okay so here a critical tyrosine residue means any tyrosine residue must be there okay one second okay uh, sorry i was just checking this line okay what is saying that so here this is saying that sh2 domain they can bind with the cytosolic domain central dna binding domain a c terminal domain but we a tyrosine residue clear so if stat is bound to receptors if stat is bound to receptors then the c terminal tyrosine is phosphorylated so which becomes phosphorylated that c terminal domain or with a uh, tyrosine residue the c terminal domain with tyrosine residue this becomes phosphorylated okay and by an associated jack kinase obviously there must be jack kinase kinase is there or uh, is remained okay so without jack kinase you know that stat uh, becomes not activated and the stats role is what this stats dissociate dissociate from from the receptors and form either homodimers or heterodimers so first they becomes activated phosphorylated then dissociate from the receptors and either form homodimers or form heterodimers okay and the basis for dimerization is a uh, reciprocal interaction between an sh2 domain in one subunit and phosphorylated tyrosine in other subunit simple that is sh2 domain in one subunit and phosphorylated tyrosine in another subunit so be, the interactions occurs between this okay one is the sh2 domain and uh, of one subunit and another subunit phosphorylated tyrosine so between this the interaction is occurring okay and here uh, <clears throat> the stat dimers that move into the nucleus where they bind to the specific enhancer sequences that controlling target genes okay so after activating or after activated the stat they enter the nucleus for what for just controlling the target genes or regulating the target genes clear so here this is the rough structures and these ligands bind and then dimer form and this is the jack kinase this one is the jack kinase so here association with the jack kinase and jack cross the phosphorylate each other on tyrosine there is the crossing of uh, phosphorus group okay crossing of phosphorus group from here to this and here to this and their association of jack kinase with phosphorus is occurring and the second step it is seen that activated jack phosphorylate so after when the uh, phosphorus is added with the jack kinase this uh, the phosphorylation occur and after the phosphorylation the jack become activated okay and what is happening after stat when uh, by sweet then again the phosphorylation occurring and this is the p uh, p group all the phosphorus p is written here in uh, this uh, uh, in this way so here the stat this is stat this is also stat when the stat binds to that then phosphorylation and again occur and after the phosphorylations or activations of the stat this release Uh, from the receptors okay and it enter into the nucleus and then uh, <clears throat> just controlling the, the, the regulatory regulatory proteins okay that are controlling the regulatory proteins so here this is the process of the jackson pathway so you just uh, first learn uh, this 
uh, one, this uh, Jack Stack pathway, and you can follow any uh, cell biology book for further uh, your knowledge or further increasing your knowledge. You can uh, consult any uh, cell biology book. Okay, so thank you and I will try to explain another topic in my next video. So continue with my channel. Thank you.